guys welcome back okay so listen today I wanted to do just a really quick eyeshadow you know tutorial I wanted to do kind of like a bold cut crease type of look so this is what I came up with today and I really like how it turned out you might be surprised to find out which palettes I use to create this look I used two of my ColourPop palettes, okay? I used the Baroque and I used the Ornate, which is like the blue one, the red one. I do have the other one, but I didn't feel like I really needed it to create this look. A lot of brown, just barely green, so I left that one out. But this is what the Baroque and the Ornate look like, just in case you've never seen them but I really, really like these palettes, especially the Baroque, absolutely gorgeous. But instead of just doing a completely blue, smoky type look, I wanted to go ahead and combine it with this one just to kind of mix it up a bit. And as you can see, I focused on this one in my crease. So yeah, I used these two palettes, okay, you guys? And I really had a good time. Now for my lid, Y'all know I always have to kind of mix it up a little bit. So for my lid, I did use one of my Stila liquid eyeshadows, okay? So yeah, I typically always forget that I even have these or to use them. I don't really gravitate towards like liquid eyeshadows and stuff because I do have hooded eyes, wrinkled eyelids, okay? <laughs> I do tend to, you know, just deal with creasing and stuff like that on a regular basis. So liquid eyeshadows can be a little bit tricky, even when I put down bases and stuff. But this one, I really, really love what it did to this eye look. Really, really loving it. So yeah, one of my Stila liquid eyeshadows along with these two ColourPop palettes. Now it's just an eye look today. This no review or anything like that for these palettes. Most ColourPop eyeshadows perform the same to me, quite honestly, and I like them. <laughs> so that's pretty much all I have to say on that. I really do like ColourPop eyeshadows. They're easy to use for me, nicely pigmented, and I never have any issues with them. So that is what I have for today, you guys. Like I said, very quick tutorial, nothing, you know, crazy or anything. But if you're interested in finding out how I created this bold double cut crease eye look, stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys. So listen, this uh, tutorial is going to be a little bit ghetto because when I was editing, I realized that I only showed like not even half the shadows. <laughs> So I'm going to tell you what palette I'm using it from and what shade I'm using. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. So this first shade, as you can see, I did show. I used out of the Ornate palette and that is the shade Siren, which is the pretty yellow shade or golden shade in there. So I just placed that down in my crease. Now I'm going into the same palette, but I'm using the shade Charisma. It's kind of like a really pretty... Mm, kind of peachy type shade I would say so it's kind of creating an orange orange hint in my crease now to deepen that up I did go into the Baroque palette the beautiful blue one and as you can see that shade of course is really deepening up my crease I'm going back in with what's left on the previous brush and just kind of blending that out making sure that that blue is blended nicely with that yellow and that orangey shade so yeah that's what I'm doing there now I'm going in with some of my revolution cut crease canvas and just laying down my shape for this cut crease gently tapping it down making sure I have a nice even base and as you can see this cut crease is going to be pretty dramatic pretty winged out for this look and I think I did a okay job getting them even but <laughs> it wasn't that easy for this one you guys a little bit difficult I know I look crazy but this is what we're working with so I decided to go in with one of my beauty creations it's like their cream you know colored cream gel pots just using that like a gel black liner and creating the double cut crease for this look and also, you know, creating that super bold dark wing on the outer corner. 
So I'm just taking my time, making sure that I get it as neat as possible, trying to keep that double cut crease as even as possible. You can always clean it up later. So that's what I'm doing here and just filling that in like a third of my lid. And as you can see, it's pretty dark. You don't have to use black. You can use a lighter shade if you want. You can really create this eye look with any color scheme that you want. Just pick like three or four colors and do the same type of look, but just use those different colors. So anyways, I'm back in the Baroque palette and I am using the shade Grand. It's kind of like a grayish blue shade. It has a little bit of sequins shimmer in there. And as you can see, I just tapped that right next to that black and blended it in. And for the inner portion, I'm going into the shade Secret. Very, very pretty, lighter, kind of gray blue shade. Has a little bit of glitter in it as well. And just blending that shade into the one that's right next to it you know, creating that gradient. But that color, I'm really just laying down as a base because I knew I wanted to add a little bit of pizzazz for this look. But before I do that, I am going ahead and lining my lash line with that same black cream gel pot from Beauty Creations. This stuff is really, really nice, really pigmented, really smooth and easy to use. So now I'm going in with my Stila Liquid Eyeshadow. This one is actually under the Little White Lies Liquid Eyeshadow and it's called Mint Myth. <laughs> so it looks kind of like green and blue with a hint of purple in there. Absolutely gorgeous. And you guys, I wore this all day all day and it stayed in place I was pretty shocked but I really love how it looks super gorgeous so as you can see here I'm just smoking out my lower lash line going back into both palettes pulling a little bit of the red a little bit of the blue and I'm using kind of a little bit more of a subtle lash today I got these more natural type lashes from profusion and I absolutely love them I pretty much stocked up on them and now I'm just going in, you know, with some of my Thrive Mascara on my lower lashes. <laughs> Excuse that face I was making when I was using my setting spray. I'm kind of irritated because I'm almost out of my Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist already. So I'm going to have to refill that. So anywho, this is the look, you guys. I hope you guys like it. I had a lot of fun creating it. Let me know if you guys want to try it out. And I will see you on the next one. Toodles!